Hi, I'm Josh Walton, and in this edition of In the Workshop, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about opening bottles, which you might think is kind of easy, uh, and it is, but there's uh, one thing that a lot of people don't know, and I run into it all the time. I always assume that people know this, and it's not something that seems to be as common knowledge as I think it should be, so we're gonna hit it here. And it's uh, basically talking about uh, the valves on gas bottles. Now, on most bottles, like of inert gas or of oxygen, you're gonna have a style where it seats when it's all the way closed and when it's all the way open. So when you open it all the way up, it actually seals at the top. And when you close it all the way down, there's a seat and it seals at the bottom. So you don't wanna open this like a quarter turn or a couple of times. You wanna go all the way open or all the way closed. If you don't do that, then you run the risk of getting contamination, of getting air in the line, and uh, a much greater um, chance of the bottle leaking down. There's one exception, and there's only one exception, and it's acetylene. Acetylene is pretty much gonna be the most dangerous thing you have in your shop. If you use it above 15 PSI, it violently decomposes, which means it basically turns into a potential bomb. So you wanna be very careful with it. This bottle is designed where internally it has a porous uh, material that the acetylene um, is kind of in. The acetone, um, you, you have acetone and it's impregnated into the porous uh, material. And so it's designed in such a way that the bottle, that's another thing. So the bottle, these bottles need to be upright. If you uh, travel with it, flat just make sure that you put it upright a while before you use it to get everything to settle because so in an uh, inert gas bottle you've just got a heavy steel bottle and then the gas is inside of it on this there's a lot more going on there's that there's that porous substance um there's the acetone and then there's the acetylene and what happens is when you open up the valve when you open up the valve the change in air pressure is what allows the acetylene to come out. This bottle, because of the difference in design and in the potential calamity that could be caused by acetylene is designed differently. There is no seat at the top. You got it sealed all the way closed. And then when you open it, you only open this bottle quarter of a turn. And that's so that if something goes wrong, you can quickly come over and turn it off uh, within you know, a couple of seconds. Just one hand movement and you've got it turned off. Um, if you've got it opened up all the way, you can't do that. So that's like the one super important caveat. All other gases, whether you're talking about 75, 25, 100% argon, helium, um, this is a 90-10 mix. They all have that, that valve that's designed so that it seals all the way open and it seals all the way closed. Acetylene is the one that doesn't and this one you only want to open a quarter of a turn and it's for safety reasons uh, so that's that's pretty much it it's a nice you know it's a simple kind of thing to know but i i told so many people this and they don't believe me and i have to you know look up the reference material and show them no it's right here like this is actually i'm not lying so something to think about uh again quarter of a turn with acetylene everything else is all the way on or all the way off see a squirrel on the other side of the fence probably wants to find some nuts don't we all